Hey guys, so this is my first Arduino project ever, so please pardon the mess. Here's some info about the main components. I got this 50 cal uh, military surplus ammo can from eBay for between 20 and 30 bucks, an Arduino Uno, a Radio Shack protoboard, uh, some of this carbon fiber, I think it's about 3 30 seconds thick, uh, 11 inch uh, by 5 and a half inch uh, approximately, uh, and then I cut and Dremel to uh, fit it as tightly as I could in the ammo can. Uh, I get a barrel key lock switch, a uh, red covered SPST toggle switch, uh, a clear Simitsu 30mm arcade button uh, that actually has a Wheela S Flash RGB LED board in it, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, and inside, which you can't see, uh, I've got an SPDT relay made specifically for Arduino and other microcontrollers and a 3S LiPo. Uh, the prototype was a combination of breadboard work and modeling on 123D.circuits.io. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend that site for anybody interested in tinkering with this stuff because the electronics lab uh, was really useful. Uh, after the prototype was done, I used some photo editing software called GIMP uh, to translate my breadboard onto the Radio Shack protoboard. I know there's probably much better ways to do it, but uh, it seemed to work pretty good for me. It was a pretty simple circuit. Uh, the protoboard, speaking of the protoboard, uh, this part was actually pretty fun. Uh, I had never done it until now, and I, I've really got a newfound respect for anybody who designs a PCB, no matter how simple it might look. Uh, I used plain old 22 gauge Radio Shack stranded hookup wire for this. Uh, I used a mix of headers uh, from my Arduino starter kit uh, and some that I harvested from an old PC motherboard. Uh, for the power, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I got a 3S LiPo, which is 11.1 uh, nominal volts. Um, I chose to split the power <clears throat> from the LiPo so the relay itself could get the full 12 volts, or nearly 12, instead of the 7.5 that I chose to regulate down uh, to feed the Arduino. I probably didn't need the external uh, regulator, but I figured it would serve to better protect the Arduino in the case of an issue with ignition or a relay, like a short or something. Uh, I made Y cables from old RC car parts or some spare 14 gauge wire and uh, Sermos connectors I had stashed away. Uh, the carbon fiber stuff isn't cheap, uh, but I actually had some lying around. Uh, thanks my father uh, for that because he was in the plastics industry and had all sorts of cool stuff. Um, I ended up amassing quite a bit. Um, you know, it was just about the right size. It was a little bit bigger than I needed, uh, but I very carefully marked and used this wonderful piece of uh, pegboard uh, that's just a scrap from from the stuff on my workbench uh, to get the fit close and uh, then used it as my template for the carbon fiber. Um, stuff is really messy, like really messy. Uh, I wouldn't do it around kids. Uh, do it outdoors if you can. Very, very dusty. Uh, I'm sure it's no good for, for lungs, so wear safety gear. Um, also, take your time. It's not cheap. Take your time. Uh, it splinters too, so watch your fingers. Um, you know, sandpaper on all the edges, or or a really light Dremel touch. Uh, I used, you know, normal drills. Uh, tape tape over the surface on both sides to minimize the split. Um, I drilled all the holes a little bit small, and then I used a Dremel and test fit each part to make sure I didn't overdo it and have a have a loose have a loose fit. Um, of course, it's also conductive unless it's coated. Mine is raw, so it's not uh, it's not coated. It's conductive, so use an insulator of some kind when you mount your PCBs to the bottom of it. I used cardboard uh, because I'm cheap, and I had that lying around. Now, of course, I got this wonderful piece, and what I back it with, cardboard. But anyway, um, on the subject of the carbon fiber, for the mounting, I used some hot glue here uh, to you know to mount the the boards and the display. It wasn't my first choice, but I didn't want all the components hanging from the 22 gauge wires, nor did I want to put a bunch of screw holes in the nice carbon fiber top for uh, standoffs or something. Uh, the display fits so tight, I didn't actually really need glue. I put some, uh, you know, behind it anyway. Um, but to get that fit, I, I drilled a couple of holes. I, you know, I marked it all with pencil, but I drilled a couple of holes, uh, dremeled close, test fitting very, very often. Um, and then I actually hand filed, especially the, the corners, very, very important. Um, hand file the rest of the way. Um, yeah, you know, and I'm actually really happy with how it came out. Um, so, without further ado, let's 
let's see it in action. Here's our little key lock. Powers it up. Arm. Only when you're ready. And there we go. Alright, here it is with the lid flipped up. I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, down here is the 3S LiPo. Yeah, in the shadows, you can't really see it, is the relay. And you can see my my uh, custom Y cables with the Sermos connectors. Uh, some were from the RC world and some were actually from a PC-based uh, battery backup, an APC UPS. Um, here's the buck DC to DC regulator uh, that regulates the 11.1 .1 from the battery down to 7.5 for the Arduino, which is here. Um, here is our la arming switch, the red uh, covered uh, covered variety. Over on this side is our lock switch. Here's our display with our, our uh, little dots of hot glue, as you can see. Uh, some of these connectors were, were harvested from the same PC that I took the motherboard from, the dead, dead PC. I just used some of the audio um, down here on the wonderful proto board that is very messy. Um, I used many of those connectors. Some I got on Amazon as the straight row. Uh, for header connectors, female. Uh, others were harvested from the PC. Um, as you can see, the carbon fiber here. Ammo can. I still have the wood standoffs. Those just keep it um, up uh, as high as I want. Uh, down at the bottom, you actually can see uh, a little bit of foam. That was actually from a Dell server box uh, that I had at work. I just trimmed it to kind of keep the relay uh, isolated. I didn't want it bouncing around in there and I didn't actually find room for it up top. Um, so the battery sits down in there and is isolated from shock and uh, you know touching the metal directly. Not that the battery needs to worry about that but the bottom of the relay has open um, you know soldered connections. And, um, right in the center you see our that's our good old launch button. Um, anyway that is about it. Again, sorry for the mess, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing this, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey, I just wanted to give a quick explanation for this little bugger. This is just a voltmeter, but I'm using it as my launch simulator. I've got the, the uh, male banana clips here plugged into the female ports that I've got on the unit. Uh, and then when this goes through its, its uh, whole rigmarole, um, this is just simulating, showing you what kind of voltage would be applied directly to the igniter on the SD's rocket or, or other such model rocket. So you get your just over 12 on a, a couple of seconds, 3 to 4, um, and then the relay kicks off. So that was just me testing. Anyway. So here's to show that the actual, the key switch actually disables. I mean, it does not do anything. This is the actual power. The key switch actually cuts the positive lead so when you turn it on uh, that's when the Arduino gets its power. Um, obviously we've got no timer here. Red on the launch button. When we arm it uh, I turn on the green LED and leave the red on giving us yellow. Set that to 10. I could change that. I've seen a couple of really cool projects where they have a knob um, I don't think I think that was a little above my uh, my pay grade, if you will. Um, so I just set it in the code to 10 seconds. We hit our launch. I figured it'd be cool to let the the uh, Wheela S Flash uh, RGB LED do a little dance and go. Relay would be energized and rocket would fire. Uh, I think this is kind of a maybe a little overkill for what it's for. Uh, SD's model rockets that I launch with my kids. But, you know what? The project was fun, and it, it gets a lot of wows, and the kids think it's the coolest thing ever. Which, you know, as a dad, is, is uh, that's tops in my book.